let's start with the campaign for the 2023 elections. How will you describe the race so far, especially with all the intrigues that have played out since the electionary campaign started? Well, as, as expected, the, the campaign is getting hotter, it's getting too personal. Uh, people are not addressing fundamental issues that is affecting the life of Nigerians. People are t attacking personalities. And uh, we felt that uh, the current situation that we are should deal with issues that have affected the life of Nigerians. Fundamentally, the issue of security, the issue of bad economy, poverty, debt, educational policy, collapse, healthcare sector. These are key fundamental issues that drive every country on earth. Instead of dealing with policy issues, how to rejiggle uh, policies that have uh, faded out and be creative and innovative in dealing with issues, largely the political actors in the field are busy attacking uh, one another's personality, uh, historical backgrounds that doesn't make sense to any serious career politician. And therefore, uh, hitting up the political space, uh, you know, have diverted the attention of the campaigns nationwide. But we in the SDP, I'm sure you can attest to that, our presidential candidates have been on issues on security grounds, economy, health sector, agricultural sector, educational sector, are fundamental to the future of Nigeria. And uh, we've been on it, we are still striving in it, both at the national and at the state level. So this is a situation uh, that is going on so far uh, politically. More are expected because it's going to be more hotter uh, in the next uh, two to three weeks. All right, so have the campaigns been more of issue-based for you? Yes, that's what I'm saying. If you follow up the campaign of our presidential candidate, it has been issue-based campaign. Issue of creating jobs or employment, issue of uh, very weak security apparatus that we have, lack of equipment, issue of the developing the economy. But you cannot develop economy when the political environment is very chaotic. You can only develop economy when the political environment is very friendly for investors to come in for domestic investors also to invest their money and create jobs in an environment where people are not feeling safe. They cannot invest their money because the issue of safety is very fundamental to any political uh, e e economy, or creating jobs or inviting investors or attracting foreign capital into your own country. Those are issue based, those are economic issue based that is dealing with our country today. Significantly, you cannot discuss anything without uh, bringing in solution on how to restore law and order in our country, how to deal away with crime and criminalities, banditry, how to deal away with issue of producing orphans and widows virtually on daily basis, how to deal with issues of taking away, wiping out villages and the food stuff uh, across the land and breadth of Nigeria. and. Uh, uh, the political assassinations that are also uh, engulfing the country right now. So these are issues, including the issue of vote buying, which is the fundamental threat to our democracy today more than any other thing. You know, once the system uh, is not being developed to an extent of guaranteeing the franchise of any citizen to cast his vote, and his vote is going to count, uh, the the, the wish of the president to ensure that he leave a legacy of free and fair election in Nigeria would be a wishful thinking. All right. Uh, as some analysts uh, of this opinion that your party, the, the SDP, is not visible enough, hence uh, not in the contention to win major election. I, I don't know those who have that opinion, but let me tell you, but let, let me tell you this. I was part of those who, who formed PDP. I was part of those who formed PDP from the G7 to G18 to G20 
to G34. And I've been to every part of Nigeria. And also, uh, I know the processes of party development. So if anybody is saying that we are not visible enough, I wonder which party is more visible. Our logo is more visible, is more senior to any party logo in Nigeria. That's, that's number one. Number two, if you take the structure of political parties in Nigeria, we have offices in all state of the Federation of Nigeria. All state of the Federation of Nigeria. INEC did verification of party offices throughout the Federation of Nigeria. Maybe you need to go and check that record. We are visible in every state of the Federation. Number three, we participated in the entire exercise. We fielded candidate from the president to the state assembly. It is also an INEC record. We comply with the Electoral Act from the Congresses of our parties, from the world, local government, states, and the national level. We held our convention at International Conference Center. It was covered by all the media organizations, including this prestigious TV station. And then, of course, our primaries was conducted very transparently. We have no dispute at all. And INEC have released all candidates of all political parties, including the one of SGP, and all the candidates we have submitted have gone through the processes of INEC and have scaled through. And there is no presidential candidate today that have been on media more than our presidential candidates, engaging various segments of issues that have to deal with our society. So I don't know what anybody will say about visibility, whether we are visible or we are not visible, or we are not known as, as PDP, as APC is claiming to be. And if you look at the history of Nigeria, APC packaged themselves together within six and seven months and displaced a party that have ruled Nigeria for 16 years. So any party can win election in Nigeria because it has been experimented. If parties that have ruled for 16 years can be defeated, it means that it's a matter of collective thinking, ability to strike and deal with the issues that affect the life of Nigerians. And I can tell you we are up to date in SDP. We are capable, we are experienced, we know how to play the game decently, morally, and progressively. So I challenge anybody who will say that. Apart from that, right now, at the various assembly, at the state assembly, and the National Assembly, we have over 12 members of the SDP that are serving both at the National Assembly and the State Assembly, including the Senate. So I don't know any other party apart from PDP and APC that can claim to have that kind of spread and visibility that we have. The statistics are very there. The people are free to propagate and make all sorts of things, but reality on ground suggests that we have everything that it takes as a party to provide leadership. Our party headquarters, I challenge any party to beat the headquarters of the SDP right now in Nigeria, and I invite you to come and inspect it. We are leading by example from the way we run the party in Nigeria. We did not design SDP as a revenue generation political party. We went on credibility, morality, decency, and the background of the individuals that we filled them as candidates. And it happens that some of them were among the ones the president have recognized in giving the national award, and they were celebrated. All right. But so no party can challenge some of our candidates throughout the positions. No party can do that.